The twisted tale of Oak Ridge Cemetery starts back in the mid-1800s when a wealthy young woman purchased a lot of jewelry worth a fortune from a bank auction. She'd gotten it at a steal of a price, paying far less than what it was actually worth. The rare and exotic pieces contained within would be sure to make her stand out in a crowd. Little did she know, what she'd actually purchased was a life's worth of misfortune. Before finding its way into the auction, the jewelry was said to have belonged to a witch. In a fit of materialistic selfishness, the witch put a curse on the treasure. The old hag damned anyone who was to own the jewelry after her. Anyone who claimed the treasure would live long into old age, being forced to watch all those they love pass away before them. Not only would they have to deal with the pain of loss, the cursed would also have to endure the physical pain their loved ones felt each time they passed. One can only imagine the pain and agony of dying over and over again. As the curse would dictate, the rich young woman lived a long and grievous life, watching all those she loved pass away and feeling their pain as if it were her own. Not wanting to pass the curse on, she demanded to be buried with the treasure when she died and eventually, near 100 years old, she did pass on. According to the legend, on Halloween of 1930, the old woman was buried with her treasure as she requested. Many of the townsfolk around the area of Ellsbury knew the story of the old woman, the curse, and most importantly to thieves, the jewelry. Fully aware of the potential for grave robbers, the cemetery's caretaker knew she'd have to be on high alert to protect the treasure. The middle-aged caretaker, Mary Lou, a loner known to mumble to herself, made it her duty to patrol the grounds of the cemetery each and every night at midnight. With her lantern to light the way, Mary Lou made her rounds each night, ensuring all trespassers would be caught and dealt with. However, one fateful night, just after she was returning to her shack on the grounds of the cemetery, the poor old woman was attacked. As the story goes, two men overtook the woman, and she was beaten to death with a hammer. The next day, when the first visitors to the cemetery arrived, they came upon a horrific scene. Whoever had murdered Mary Lou had taken the time to pose her dead body on top of her shack so as to make it look like she was still watching out over the graveyard. When authorities arrived and examined the scene, they found the hammer and the inside of the shack covered in blood. And the old woman whose grave the caretaker was guarding, it was found dug up, vandalized, and robbed of all its treasure. Whoever committed the crime was never caught, although, perhaps, the curse of the treasure was a fate worse than any justice system would have brought. Maybe the local law enforcement knew this and decided to never pursue it. Whatever the case, the treasure was never recovered. The ghost of Mary Lou, the caretaker, is said to haunt Oak Ridge Cemetery. Ghost hunters and visitors report hearing disembodied whispers and mumbling sounds. Those who travel to Oak Ridge at night have seen mysterious figures and lights in and around the hilltop grave plot. While no one knows exactly what's behind the sightings, many suspect that it's the spirit of the old caretaker with her ghostly lantern out for the nightly rounds. On our journey to Oak Ridge in the Ellsbury area, we couldn't help but notice the beautiful landscape surrounding the cemetery and the unreal vantage from up on the hill. You get a great view of the rolling hills and the lush greenery surrounding the Mississippi River Valley to the east. At the cemetery itself, we noticed that the old caretaker's shack was gone. Another group had shared an older video from here that included the shack, and so we knew just where to look. Unfortunately, only the foundation remains. There's also a staircase to nowhere, closer to the entrance of the cemetery, which evidently used to lead to an old church building. 
There was, in fact, a 98-year-old woman laid to rest at Oak Ridge in 1930, Almira Colaw Taylor, but she was buried in September, not on Halloween like the legend suggests. And there was a Mary Lou who died in 1931 in Lincoln County, where Oak Ridge lies, although according to her death certificate, she was 81 and not quite middle-aged. While her cause of death is listed as a cerebral hemorrhage, she was a widow whose occupation was listed as at home. Not likely to be our caretaker, but who can really say for sure? One thing of note that we came across during our research were the other haunted Oak Ridge cemeteries, one in Springfield, Illinois, where President Abraham Lincoln is buried, another in Donovan, Missouri, where the stone statue of Belle Neal is said to come to life, seen floating around the cemetery at night. One website lists an Oak Ridge Cemetery in Kennett, Missouri, and another Oak Ridge Cemetery in Independence, Missouri as haunted, but it seems to be conflating these cemeteries with the story out of Ellsbury. This type of erroneous reporting and shape-shifting of a story's details is natural for ghost stories. Oftentimes, the details of a scary story are made to fit the storyteller's preferred lens. Our research turned up no records of a murder at Oak Ridge Cemetery in Ellsbury, Missouri. While some things, especially undesirable news, can often slip through the cracks of time, this one doesn't seem to have actually happened. And so, if there was no lantern-toting caretaker that was murdered in the cemetery, then just what are the unexplained voices, lights, and figures being seen and heard at Oak Ridge Cemetery?